Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Madhvi from tarotically.speaking.com and today I am going to be reviewing this very unique deck called the Aelid Tarot and well, I think this is a deck that has a lot of uh, interesting takes to offer. Uh, so stick around. I'm going to I'm going to talk a little bit about this deck and <laughs> and then I'm going to do a flip through so you can look at these cards. Um, this, I mean, this, this deck comes, uh, packed in a regular box, a uh, regular cardboard, uh, you know, box. And, uh, well, at first you're like, what? Because <laughs> I, I, I actually got this deck, uh, you know, uh, the gentleman emailed me, uh, Steve Aylett, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And he emailed me and he said he wanted me to review his deck and I'm like, okay. And this deck has caught me by surprise caught me off guard and and i've been like laughing and well i'm i'm just i'm just amazed at this deck it's it is called a tarot deck but i i, I don't quite uh think it fits in with what your traditional you know tarot uh sort of setup is all about let, let, let's let's you'll see what i mean when we look into the cards uh the back of the deck says Tidings be damned. These cardboard harbingers by the always problematic Steve Aylett will blast your face and flatten your colleagues. Kaleidoscopic lines more or box of endless satisfaction. Swords aimed nowhere last forever. May you meet your fears with lidded eyes and a pet leopard. In fact, we are so confident you'll love our product. It's like we are all drunk. <laughs> and this tone... Believe me, this tone is carried through the entire deck. So, again, if you're expecting to see your typical traditional tarot cards, well, you won't find them in this deck. But what you will find will catch you unawares and take you by surprise. And yes, there are cards in this deck uh, which do have your traditional tarot names as well. But, uh, well, you'll see when as i as i go through them <laughs> you'll see so these cards just came they, they weren't in any 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 order as i went through them uh, see this is the box right as i went through these cards i did not find any specific order so i just let them be <laughs> came with these i believe the business card you can go to his website and check it out he i believe he also he's he's an artist and he makes comics wait just something if you're interested in that sort of thing and there you go yeah this this i think is his comic uh uh thing okay so all right but this so i'm gonna check that out later all right so let's look at the cards now, what you will see is, yes, some of these cards have your traditional uh, tarot card names. Some don't. Some have other names on them. And there's an, an image which is very creative. And there's a an A-lit saying. And no, this deck does not come with <laughs> an LWB. And I went and I looked on his website if there's a downloadable PDF of some kind with meanings and that. That isn't there either, which I guess, uh, which, you know, if, if you ask me, that's kind of interesting because, yes, I mean, here, look at this. It's called the chariot and it's about, chariot typically is about movement. You could see the movement here, right? You could see a lot of stuff happening here. And then there's the saying which says, the angles on these dimensions, it's all pretend like the gears on a bicycle and then you have to just pause and think what's going on what angles and you look at the image and you see some angles you do see something interesting going on 
and you see the name chariot and you're like interesting interesting so this <laughs> deck uh the cards are really they are going like i said they're going to catch you unawares they're going to take you by surprise they're going to take you into their own little world and you're going to be like what and and you know maybe in a day or two it'll be like oh yeah <laughs> the thing is going to make sense to you so give this deck a chance is 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 my is my is my 100 percent uh honest opinion is give this deck a chance this 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 deck will uh you know you it'll, it'll grow on you and and it won't go away <laughs> as it's grown on me okay so again uh if you look at the back of the deck this is the back of the deck right and so yes it's not reversible which is fine because you want to be able to read the sayings and it's made out of this uh what you would call it the linen uh sort of material makes it very bendy and very durable i like it i like it because these cards shuffle well and spread well when you make the fan uh so i like it i like that okay so let's let's just do a flip through i'm gonna stop talking now i'm gonna give you a minute if you want to if you want to read what's written on the card you can pause the video and go through it but from here on out i'm just going to let the deck the images and these a let sayings speak for themselves because this deck is just amazing <laughs> all right let's go
All right. So you saw the deck, you saw the cards, and I'm sure you realize by now that they are intriguing, interesting, and well, not although some of them have your typical tarot card names, they are anything <laughs> but. I, I also tried to spend some time trying to see if they matched any of the tarot cards. Uh, some did, I guess. Then I just gave up. I'm like, this deck is what it is. It is what it is. Accept it for what it is. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do uh, uh, just, you know, like a very practice kind of reading to show you how I kind of use it now and then uh, these days. Uh, you know, just to get some very quirky advice. <laughs> for the day if, if at all or for the situation so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull three cards and you can either just say you know do like a pick a card thing and say oh this card this card today for me or whatever or you can look at the whole thing i'm going to see read individual cards and read the line okay so you can do that <laughs> just you know some guidance from the universe for me, for whoever's watching, whether one card, individual cards, or the whole line. All right, so card one, card two, and here we go, card three. <laughs> so yeah, that's what you can do. You can uh, just choose one card for yourself. Just focus on the swirly lines and say, okay, this is my card. This is my card, card one, two, or three. And each card will have a message for you. <laughs> it will be unique. It will be quirky. It will be just for you. Or at the end, I'm going to combine it all and we'll see what it has to say. All right, so card number one. <laughs> the chef. The coexistence of lobsters and chefs suggests a dispiriting sort of order. This is a very, very interesting card. And I, 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 every time I see this card, I'm like, hmm. So, you know, basically it's what the, what the card suggests. Uh, there is a chef and there is the lobster. <laughs> and the chef is ultimately going to kill that lobster to cook it. And so, in a way, maybe they're trying to say that, hey, you know, uh, there will always be something that... <laughs> <laughs> kill you cook you eat you uh, you know it's that's kind of you know the big fish swallows the small fish and then some bigger fish swallows the big fish it's always that's that's the order of the world so you gotta know know your place in the order and and act accordingly i suppose that could be the message i mean that's how i'm interpreting it now uh Maybe later you might want to interpret it differently. That's perfectly fine. But that's the dispiriting sort of order. You know, you're not supposed to feel excited about this way of things. But that's how it is. That's how the world is set up. Hmm. How does this message, uh, you know, relate or resonate <laughs> to your life? All right. If you chose card number two, you got awkward. All right. So describe social custom with care. You may give something away. All right. So you might be in a situation where you got to maybe interact with people or be part of some sort of social situation. You might be feeling awkward or that whole entire situation, custom uh, scenario is completely awkward for you. We've all been there. And, and, you know, just like this penguin, I guess, that's kind of dressed up in a weird, well, awkward manner. <laughs> We are all going to go through, you're going to go through some kind of an awkward social situation or custom. And we've all been there. You're going to go through it or you're going through it. And just just keep going. You know, you, you'll reach the other end. Okay, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> the universe recognizes it. <laughs> And if you have picked card number three, you got the wreck. Ooh. The tiresome idea that pain makes us feisty. I, for one, am simply exhausted. Right. This is interesting. Right. 
because a lot of times it is told that yeah suffering will make you stronger and and going through a tough time will make you as i say pain makes us feisty it it is it is a tiresome idea that you know if you suffer or if you go through a tough time it will make you stronger it might it might but but for 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 a moment just recognize and accept that yes you are exhausted and you just maybe need an app right you are in a bad place and just just acknowledge that you are in a bad place and you know rest up because you will need that strength uh that will come from this uh painful situation the wisdom the inner strength the outer strength whatever kind of strength it is but for now maybe just you know rest and heal give yourself a moment to accept that yes you are in a in a in a <laughs> in a bad place right acknowledge that so that you can then acknowledge the strength you have received from that situation and you can move past it and for those of you who chose the whole entire line right this is how i would read it that uh, yes the small fish is swallowed by the big fish and big fish is swallowed by the even bigger fish this kind of an you know you're you're in that world order where you know you you know you need to know where in that food chain you lie and it is a dispiriting situation but it is what it is and it makes for a very awkward uh, scenario uh, and you know understanding it acknowledging it and being in that situation will not be simple or easy but it is within that awkwardness that you might maybe find uh, your spot right and acknowledge that yes you know discussing that discovering that finding that uh, learning about that has you know it 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 has made a complete wreck of you but uh, uh yes it has yeah acknowledge that and 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 give yourself a moment to regroup because you know once you're done with the exhaustion of this dispiriting world order you will need to continue you can't just give up and walk away you will need to move past it and move forward and thrive in the best way that you can see i told you this deck had its own unique <laughs> quality <laughs> and own unique way of uh, you know talking to you so if you're into uh snarky funny uh decks with unique images and and even unique messages and uh, you know you you kind of like that sort of uh you know <laughs> wisdom uh i completely and totally recommend uh, that you get this oh look at this card <laughs> see that they will live as cool as you like you leave in a car with curtains <laughs> that is so intriguing right no matter what uh you're going to leave it in in that in that very special car with curtains so <laughs> get yourself this elite tarot deck and uh and have a go at it and and just enjoy uh looking at the very quirky and very very interesting art the best way of getting into something is to think of it as mischief i like this this is more accurate right so go ahead and get this deck for yourself and enjoy the snarky humorous witty tongue in cheek uh kind of approach to the images and to the messages that come from the images and you know so every single day so you know along with your typical tarot messages you can also have a snarky message that will get you through the day <laughs> i like it i i'm i'm telling you sometimes you need this kind of a message to just say hey you know you got a point this deck is totally worth it all the links will be in the video description so go ahead and take a look at that and definitely visit his website uh if if you're if you're someone who likes reading comics and stuff then uh take a look at his comic book series and tell me what you think right this this, this dude is is interesting <laughs> and his deck is very very interesting 
So this was my review of the <laughs> very, very unique and also kind of snarky, but also on the nose uh, deck uh, called the Alit Tarot. And as I said earlier, the links are in the description. So definitely go check it out. And you, I think you should have, actually, I, I really genuinely think all of us should get one. <laughs> What copy of this deck? Um, all right, so go right ahead and enjoy. And and if you're into comics and stuff, take a look at his comics and stuff as well. If you like this video, if you like this deck, hit the thumbs up button and give this video a like. And please share this video uh, with other friends of yours who may like a similar deck. Also, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go right ahead and do that. I do infrequently come up with very interesting videos, deck reviews and uh, tutorial videos as well. And uh, yep, that's pretty much it. I will see you in my next video. So until then, stay good, be good and play with your cards. <laughs> Bye now.